Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a pop-up for all those products which are out of stock. So here is a simple example. On my screen, you can see that I have this add to cart button or maybe purchase button. And if I am selecting any specific variant which is not available, so I am getting an out of stock button if I am selecting this. So I am getting an email input box and then uh, this button which is helping me to send the message to admin. So in that way, we can actually collect the emails from the customers uh, for the for all those products which are out of stock. And you can also see here we have the title of that uh, product and and also attach the variant of that specific product which is not available at all. So this is also displayed here and also uh, sent to the admin email. So I have already implemented uh, this specific code. So I am going to show you all those steps which you need to follow and just need to copy and paste the code and that's it. You don't need to install any kind of app for using this feature. Firstly, you should go to your, the dashboard of your store and I have already implemented this specific feature on my copy uh, theme and the theme I have installed is Smitri theme. If you have any other theme, you can also use this code for that. And if you stuck somewhere, you can definitely ask me for help. I will definitely help you out in that. So let's implement this feature on our current published theme. So let's see the preview first. Uh, for example, I am going through the preview and uh, scrolling it down and here we have this product. For example, I have some variants where we have uh, which are out of stock and you can see that this is only showing a button of sold out, but we don't have any uh, option to uh, create the pop-up again you need to go to the dashboard of the store and you should click on these three dots firstly duplicate the theme because you need the backup of this theme later on if you have any problem you can actually roll it back to the old version of your theme again you should click on three dots click on edit code and here we have some files and folders and let's go through the documentation i have attached the code you should uh, just download or maybe i will be uh, putting it as a blog post so the first step is like create a new snippet and the name of that snippet is pop up dash out of stock just copy this name click on snippets click on add a new snippet and right here pop up dash out of stock and click done and then after you should uh, paste the attached code i have already attached the code so you should copy this complete code and paste it right here and then click on save the changes the second step which is go to theme click on edit code go to assets and then theme.js so we already uh, clicked on edit code so we just need to go to assets scroll it down and here we have theme.js inside of it we need to uh, find this specific code which is this one and then after uh, we need to paste this below code just below that so let me find that specific uh, code first here so using control f or maybe command f you should search this and here we go now you can see that we have this one this code which we were looking for on just right of uh, the semicolon you should press enter key uh, two times and then after you can paste the code which i have just uh, said so just copy this complete code and again paste it right here and then click on save the next step is go to sections and open man dash product dot liquid so just go to the sections here we have man dash product dot liquid open it up and then here we also need to search the uh, one button and we need to copy this keyword data dash add dash to dash cart and search it using control f or maybe command f and it is highlighted here so that means this was the button which we were looking for and we need to add an id into it so just copy this id and paste it just next to this button and then after <coughs> render the out of stock snippet which we have created just now after the end form which has this submit button so that means this submit button is inside of a form so here you can see that we have the form which ends just here so just below this end form what we need to do is we need to paste this line so in that way actually the code will be included so i just pasted that click on save changes let me refresh this page again 
here we go now you can see that we have the button of out of stock if i am selecting this i got the email input box and then the button so if i am selecting any other variant which is available so in that way that is showing uh, purchase that means add to cart this theme has this kind of uh, design but if you have any other theme so that will be like add to cart and sold out button in that way all right so that means this is working fine for all the other variants which we were interested in here you can see that for this specific variant this is also showing if i am selecting this variant you can see that variant is changing so that means this is working perfectly fine and once we are interested to put our email for example and then click on to send so it will automatically go to our uh, admin all right so admin will identify that this specific feature this specific uh, product customer is interested in so here we have the message success message which is thank you for contacting us we will get back to you as soon as possible and this message you can actually modify into this uh, specific code all right so that's how you can implement this feature if you are facing any specific problem in that you can directly contact me i will help you in that and uh, this kind of features i mostly develop so if you have any kind of customization you can uh, ask me i will help you out in that and uh, make sure if you want any specific feature new feature to uh, bring into the new video you can suggest me i will uh, make the video on that thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel thank you once again see you in the next video